Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Code It. This is going to be a short one today. We're just going to take a look at the SQL model package that is used a lot with Fast API. We're just going to do a quick overview and then the next video will go into depth and create the blog application in SQL model and integrate it into our Fast API app. To begin, we're just going to define our SQLite database where we want it on our system. It's pretty easy. And we're going to use create database from the SQL model package to create the engine. After that, we're going to run that. So run this and we get expand that. And we'll run. Cool. Looks like we got everything. After creating that database engine, we're then going to create a very simple SQL model. It inherits from this SQL model up here, a lot like how Pydantic inherits from that base model. So we're just going to create one called Hero. The Hero has a name, a secret name, and an, and an age. We're just going to create a model called Hero with a class Hero. It inherits from the SQL model. We're defining it as a table, so you can have relationships without it being a table. So this is saying to the SQL model package, basically, this is going to be a database table. We're then going to create a UID, a name as a string, and this is identical to how Pydantic does it. A name as a string, a secret name as a string, and then an optional age, which its default value is none. For development purposes, we're going to create a reset table, which is going to drop the table if it is already created. So if we run it over and over again, you won't have a thousand of the same, I guess, hero in there. We're going to check to see if the table exists. If it does, basically, we're dropping it. And then we're going to create the engine with the new table. After doing that, we're then just going to run that real quick. We can do this on the same one. We can see that the table is made. Yep, so here's the table down here. And if we open it up, this is just opening up in VS Code. We can see the table, but it's empty right now. Now we're going to get into actually interacting with the database and how we might do that. This is going to be a lot like what we're going to be doing in our Fast API app, where we're going to be using gets and puts to allow this to interact with the database almost the exact same way as this. It's just going to be at the end of the endpoint. The first thing we're going to look into doing is creating some data. So to do that, you can imagine being a put endpoint with create hero, and it's going to have those path parameters. The first thing we're going to look into doing is creating a create hero method. Now you can imagine this in fast API being a create hero endpoint for a put this is going to allow us to create one of those heroes inside of our database. We're just going to run that. And what we're doing in this create hero, we're just passing it all of the variables that we need to create a entry into the database. Then we're going to create a session connecting to the database and then pass it the hero object that we created, that class, that is the model. We're going to add it to the database, commit it to the database, refresh it, and then print out hero was created, or the hero that was created. <clears throat> Just to do a quick one, we can do create hero then, and have it create Deadpool. So to test this out, we can create a couple heroes. First one we're going to create is Deadpool, and we're just going to define some values for them, and then run this, and you can see it created a named Deadpool with a UUID that it self-generated, name, secret name, and age. Okay, after creating the Deadpool one, we're just going to create a couple more just to make it easier to do some other things later on. We're going to create a Spider-Boy and a Iron Man. And if we just run it again, we're actually going to have, I think, four in the database right now because we're going to repeat that Deadpool. That is in the wrong spot. Delete that out. And... Now we're just going to write a get method, basically, in our fast API app. A get for getting the heroes. This one would have no path parameters, but we're just going to grab all the heroes and 
print them. For the get heroes method, we're going to create another with statement and that creates that session. Off of that session, we're then going to execute a select statement where we're going to use the heroes table and we're just going to select everything from it and return it all. Then we're going to loop over each hero that we get back and just print it to the console. To call it, we'd have no path parameters or no methods. Let's expand that. Let's clear the console. And here you can see we returned four. We have four because I ran it one more time, so we're going to have two deadpools. If you just run it all the way through, you should only have three. That's it for the get heroes. Now we're going to learn how to update the database with some information. What we're doing here is we're going to use that UUID to select a hero given a UUID, and then we can change the name of that hero. We're going to have a method called update hero age, which takes in a hero ID and an age. Inside this method, we're going to select or do a with the session to create that session again. And then we're going to select the hero using the session dot get and then we're passing it the hero object so that table and we're also passing it the uuid if it returns no heroes we're going to have a quick if statement right below that that basically will check to make sure that there is a hero in there by that uuid if there is not it just returns uh not found and exits if it does it then reassigns that age it does hero.age, accessing that age variable within the hero, and then just reassigning it. Again, a lot like the create then, we go to the add it to the database, commit it to the database, refresh it, and then that's it. To do a little example of how to use this method, we're going to just do an input real quick where I'm going to have to input the hero's UUID, but actually I'm just going to define this here. We're going to define it as the Iron Man. And then the new age for Iron Man is going to be 50. And then we're going to use that to call our hero update hero age, pass it the UUID, wrapped in the UUID because it's of type UUID, then pass it the age, which is an integer. After that, we're just going to get all the heroes again and print them out. As you can see, if you just go down to the very bottom, yep, Iron Man's now 50. He was previously not 50, I believe. I think, I think he was 30, or he was 48. That's where we're at now. Let's just clear this out again so we get some more space. Last of all, we're just going to create a delete method, which is delete hero. And to select the hero, again, we're going to be using that hero ID within the method like all of them, we're going to be using that with statement in the session. From that session, exactly like before, we're from the hero table, we're going to be selecting the hero with the ID matching the UUID we passed in. If it doesn't re exist, we're returning out. If it does, we're then going to delete that hero and then commit it. The only difference here is we do not have to refresh after that. To see this method in action, we're going to do something similar to the top one where we're taking in a, oh, I just realized I'm an idiot. I'm going to need to run this again so I can get one of these UUIDs. All right, we're going to be messing around with Deadpool. After that, we're going to create those UUID or create the hero that we want to find it as that UUID and then create that UUID data type, pass it into the delete hero, and then we're just going to print out the heroes again at the very end. Make sure I ran this again. And then we are deleting him. And then, yep, there's only one Deadpool now. That is it. I know this is a pretty simple video. Next time we're going to be putting this all together and creating basically the back end, full back end for our blog website that we're building. If you have anything that you want me to cover next, please hit me down below in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time.